Thank you. Hello, my name is Ryan Adamovic, and welcome to our webinar hosted by Modern Machine Shop. It was nice to see many of you the other week at IMTS in Chicago. We were able to have many conversations about our entire CNC and encoder lineup for multiple different applications, such as 5-axis milling, grinding, metal additive, and laser cutting. But one of the items that got a lot of attention this year at our booth was actually one of our customers' products, a 5-axis precision milling machine for the medical industry featuring our control system. This machine was designed to be small enough to fit on a table and to be operated by a lab technician as opposed to an experienced machine operator. Hi, so I'm here with Arthur Gogolski, our CNC product manager for the Midwest region. Uh, Arthur, can you tell me a little bit more about this machine? I understand that it's a milling machine for the uh, medical industry. Yeah, that's correct. This is a digital dental machine, and this machine will do a milling on the five axis for uh, Invisalign, for cutting the little Invisalign parts. Uh, typically, in this, this case, it's cutting plastic with high-speed spindle. We're running the spindle at 6,000 RPM and interpolating five axes to get this shape. In this case, we are using a full package Optima CNC Elite, running our motors with absolute encoder technology. The process is quite complex, the machine is quite complex, but uh, thanks to Fegor interface, working with our customer, we make it very simple and user friendly. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, this interface doesn't look like it's uh, Fagor. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, this, this interface has been customized to fit, to fit customers' need. In this case, make it friendly for the very novice operator who are just uh, dental technicians working in the dental technician labs and make it simple to operate. We can navigate through touch screen. For example, I want to speed up the process. I can increase the feed rate. I can slow down the machine to the satisfaction. You can go to setup, follow simple keystrokes, and go to specific parts of the machine calibration. It's, it helps the machine operator to make it very simple task for the complex parts. With this being a five-axis medical machine, I'm assuming that the operator would have to be quite skilled in order to operate this. Is that correct? Well, not in this case. We, thanks to our human interface and customization of ability working with OEM, we customize the machine to follow the process quite simply. So, for example, every job has a QR code printed on the part before it's loaded. This, this code follows the job through the whole cycle, uh, from the being printed on the 3D printer to the thermoforming on the plastic part, and finally ready for the cut. So when you load the part into the machine, it will recognize always the same position. The camera will pick up the QR code through the quick scan and pick up the correct part number or part name based on the QR code. So in this the advancements of five-axis machining hasn't just made the technology more complex and capable, it's also made it more accessible. 5-axis machines have become commonplace in many shops and now serve a much more broader range of applications. From the control system side of this technology, 5-axis is becoming much more welcoming to non-experienced operators. The goal of the control system for any machine tool is to work smarter to make the entire process simpler. Simplifying the machining process makes it easier for non-experienced operators to get involved with 5-axis but it's also important to simplify the setup of the machine, calibration, and data management. In this presentation, not only will we discuss some of these features and how they improve the process, but we'll also showcase footage from our various 5-axis applications. As always, this presentation is pre-recorded, but we will answer questions live at the end of the presentation. Before we jump into this presentation, we wanted to familiarize you with our company as a whole and what we do. Figure Automation is part of the Mondragon Corporation, one of the world's largest employee-owned cooperatives. The key takeaway from this is the amount of resources this gives Figure. Mondragon has 14 full-size technology centers that constantly do R&D. In fact, at least 10% of Mondragon's and Figure's profit gets invested each year into research and development. 
Inside the Mondragon Corporation is the Fagor Group, a technology cooperative that offers advanced high-tech solutions for many different sectors, including automotive production, machine tools, energy, and so much more. Fagor Automation has been in the manufacturing technology industry for over 45 years. During that time, we've been one of the leading providers for machine automation and control products. For five axis applications, we provide CNC systems, linear encoders, angular encoders, servo drives, and motors, meaning we were one of the few existing companies to be a single source solution provider for both CNC controls, feedback devices, and servo drives and motors. These products are used in manufacturing applications for aerospace, automotive, energy, medical, and defense. Much of what we've accomplished with our five axis applications wouldn't be possible without the combined efforts of the Fager Automation Milling Vector Team and our Technology Applications Team. Together, they're dedicated to ensuring the best possible CNC performance through their knowledge and support. Our milling vectors approach is unique in this market due to their close collaboration with Fagor Research and Development. Because of this, it's easier for them to develop features as a direct solution for the OEM or end user. When it comes to five axis milling machines, we typically deal with three main different configurations. First, we have the table configuration, where the table can swivel and rotate. Rotary heads, in which the cutting tool can both rotate and tilt and finally, we have a mixed kinematic, in which the cutting tool can tilt while the table can rotate, utilizing both the B and C axis. Based on these three main configurations, we have 29 predefined kinematics with unique axis orientations. We also have custom kinematics, as well as vectorial kinematics. Custom kinematics are typically used with custom machines with non-standard axis configurations where based on the data you input into the CNC, it will learn how to execute the RTCP movements correctly. However, we've had a lot of applications where the machine builders design their machines to switch kinematics, whether it's so that the machine user can switch between entire tool heads as opposed to switching just the cutting tool, or swapping between a rotary table to a trunnion table. This usually could take hours, and improving the changeover to time is as important as improving the machining time. This is where our first feature, Kinematics on the Fly, comes into play. You can define and store up to six types of kinematics on your machine. These kinematics can be changed on the fly even during the execution of a part program. Simply by inputting the appropriate G-code, the control will always use the correct kinematics table. This is a major time advantage as it will maintain the part offset even when working with different heads on the same part. This means only setting up the part one time, and several heads will be able to work with that part with no need to do a part center each time the operator changes heads. Now, let's talk about a functionality that every 5-axis machine has, rotation tool center point. By activating the RTCP algorithm, it functions to keep the tip of the cutting tool stationary when the rest of the tool head is orients itself elsewhere. This algorithm could be developed by the machine tool designer or by the control system provider. However, we've expanded the capabilities of our RTCP algorithm by allowing the programmer to define an inclined plane. While other controls may have a pre-built RTCP algorithm, and they may also allow you to define an inclined plane, our control allows you to do both at the same time very easily. This way, your machine can align and cut very large parts without having to relocate them. In order to ensure the highest level of accuracy with RTCP and 5-axis machining, calibrating your machine kinematics is critical. Over time, machine dynamics change due to various reasons, temperature fluctuations, wear and tear, or machine crashes. All of this will gradually cause failure of the mechanical parts and misalignment of the spindle head. This affects the machine's kinematics and they need to be recalibrated. On the Fagor control, you would use an easy to use single page conversational cycle for this process, allowing you to find the exact center of rotation for the rotating axis. You can decide to run this cycle during a machine startup, after a collision, 
or just during periodic preventative maintenance in order to ensure the best quality over time. The user just enters a few data points into the CNC and it will automatically calculate the new parameter values. The control does all the difficult calculations for the operator. We have users that make parts that are very expensive and they consider this feature to be absolutely essential to their process. Because it's so easy, they've just grown accustomed to running this cycle before starting every expensive job. To prevent crashes from happening, some users opt to use our collision avoidance system. The FCAS monitors tool movements in real time to avoid collisions with the machine. When the system detects the possibility of a collision, it stops the movement within the predefined safety margin. This is typically used in manual mode operation where most of these crashes occur. We've had quite a few customers request the ability to jog the tool itself during the execution of a 5-axis program. Our virtual axis has the ability to follow the real-time angular position of the head. Instead of using a single standard axis of movement, like X, Y, and Z, the virtual axis is imaginary and represents the direction in which the tool itself is oriented. What makes our virtual axis so unique is that it follows the program toolpath, while the operator can jog the tool in and out, increasing or decreasing the depth of the pass. All this happens on the fly while machining a part. You can combine the virtual axis with RTCP and incline plane. This feature is widely used in prototyping applications, custom aerospace parts, and semi-finished passes. 5-axis boring mills and deep hole drilling machines, on the other hand, make use of another feature called parallel axis. Imagine you are running an operation on a boring mill where you have a very large part positioned close to the movable column. The CNC reports a limit error because the space is too tight. The operator goes into jog mode and moves the auxiliary axis under the table to a different position, far from the column. When the operator starts the program with this feature enabled, the CNC will automatically handle the new position of the roto translational table, and the RTCP will function properly, requiring no change to the program, no new part offset, and no call to a special function. With this standard feature, you can control the distance between the tooltip and the workpiece relative to the parallel axis. This feature is fundamental to RTCP and also helps avoid collisions. Any machine with two or more axes that are parallel with each other with no mechanical link between them can benefit from this feature. Let's move on to other functionalities that automatically improve machining time and part quality. Today's sophisticated CAD CAM systems allow the design of more complex geometric elements. The CAD CAM system generates cloud points that must be managed by the CNC control. Depending on the user's needs, Figure Automation offers three exclusive machining modes where priority can be given to time, accuracy, or quality of the part, giving the end user even more flexibility during production. These three modes are fast, where it's focused on making the parts in the shortest possible time and is optimal for roughing operations, Contour, which is focused on high-precision machining, and Surface, which offers a combination of both to obtain quality parts and high surface finish. Most importantly, these algorithms can be switched on and off on the fly, and the CNC allows to select different sets of servo parameters to improve its dynamic behavior. These high-speed cutting algorithms are most effective when combined with a dynamic override. Dynamic override allows the operator to manually adjust the machining conditions in a real-time environment. Similar to how an experienced CNC machine tool operator has learned to adjust axis feeds and spindle speeds during the execution of a part program, Figor has developed a simple slide bar that adjusts the dynamics of the machine while executing a program. This will give the operator the ability to control cutting speed, part finish, and surface quality during the first run. We've taken this concept a step further with dynamic machining control. DMC is Fagor's patented feature that utilizes machine learning to adapt the feed rate during machining to keep the cutting power as close as possible to ideal machining conditions. 
The old way of doing this was having an experienced machinist manually turn up and down the feed rate during machining based on how the machine sounds. What happens if the operator is handling multiple machines? Or what if the operator is not as experienced? With this artificial intelligence-based feature, your machining center can intellectually learn the operation and set the optimum machining conditions that you predefined in your machining parameters. The control can learn this by analyzing the tool effort and makes very rapid adjustments when more load is encountered, thus reducing vibrations and chatter. No machine has perfect geometry. Still, in order to achieve very strict accuracy standards needed by industries with tight tolerances, we need a machine with perfect geometry. Volumetric compensation allows you to calculate and correct geometry errors within the CNC system to achieve the desired results. After performing a 3D laser measurement on the machine, the FIGOR volumetric compensation simultaneously makes corrections and lists the translation, rotation, and geometric errors for the entire machine. This functionality significantly improves the machine's precision, achieving up to 80% better accuracy after the compensation is applied. However, volumetric compensation is very dependent on feedback systems to compensate in a 3D space. The best way to guarantee 5-axis accuracy without concerns of thermal expansion or vibration is to utilize linear and angular encoders. These next few advancements we will discuss are important for all machines, especially those who are interested in customization and Industry 4.0. The control system user interface can either make the entire machining process as easy as possible for the operator, or it could be very frustrating if not configured properly. There's also a greater demand for a new human machine interface that is designed for lights out machining and smart factory. That's designed for portability and taking advantage of the insane new connectivity speeds that we're capable of. And is also designed for not only ease of use, but ease of customization. This is why we spent the last few years developing Fagor HMI Elite, which runs on HTML5, one of the most open platforms in the industry. Instead of using an application-based control software, the new HMI is designed to run via browser. With this new user interface, it's possible to achieve high product differentiation through software. The machine builder can customize 100% of the look, feel, and functionality of their machines. Despite utilizing HTML, the CNC doesn't have to be connected to the internet at all in order to function, and part programs will still run on G-code. But by utilizing this new interface, we're able to leverage an entirely new generation of people with web design experience to get involved with customizing interfaces to best complement your machine. Our Industry 4.0 connectivity package isn't anything new, but it pairs very nicely with our new HMI Elite that was designed with Industry 4.0 in mind. Our control is compliant with MT Connect, Umadi, OPC UA, and SQ Lite. In the future, it'll also be compatible with 5G speed transmission. We wanted to give the machine tool manufacturer the ability to have a smartphone app that will monitor the control screen, machine data, and any camera mounted to the machine. The data is coming in so fast, the user will be able to make decisions in real time, even when they're away from the machine. Our connectivity package allows the user to tune their machine, update firmware, and install features all remotely. It provides a channel to collect machine data, and it interfaces with external devices such as a process informer. When machining large, complex parts or batch production, you may not always require an operator to be present. However, certain instances still can occur, which would prevent the machine from continuing working. Our process informer can send out an incident alert, which will inform the machine user about the machine's status, allowing the user to take immediate corrective action. Support is just a click away. TeamViewer is built into every Fagor PC-based control. If you have a question, simply call the Fagor service line allow the technician to log into the control, diagnose and possibly repair the issue without any costly on-site service calls. This includes tuning the servo axis, installation of software features, and program troubleshooting. 
Along with that, Fagor has digitally integrated manuals into our control. Should you have any programming or setup questions, press the help key from the screen you're on, and the help menu will guide you step by step through the process of the operation. Our product is technologically prepared to connect with other systems and digital solutions, including our very own Fagor Digital Suite. We have developed a solution to connect machines with the rest of production management systems, capturing all the data and transforming it into useful business intelligence. This solution is compatible with other main control systems on the market, so you don't necessarily need a Fagor CNC to get started. We have separate solutions for users and OEMs. The user solution is the most easy to implement. With this solution, you can monitor at least 200 variables for each machine connected, as well as analytical data such as availability, efficiency, and quality. We also provide a system to plan and distribute the work on available machines, taking into account the operations that could be carried out, their availability, and workload. And then we have a solution for machine manufacturers who want to enhance asset management and release proprietary services. Usually the OEM needs the same features that the end users have for their own factory. So this solution provides that along with an intuitive toolkit that enables the creation of new digital products and services. This allows for the development and administration of applications for the machine tool inventory. Applications can be managed on a global or local level and can be oriented with new services. This solution also provides remote update of firmware, PLCs, and remote access for maintenance and diagnostics. These are examples of some of the screens that we can prepare with information from the CNC on the digital suite. There's a lot of flexibility to what we could personalize for the screens for both users and OEMs, such as different information, layouts, and accessibility. Very similar to how easily HMI Elite can be customized. This software is platform independent and safety is guaranteed by achieving strict cybersecurity standards. The features discussed today are available on the CNC 8065 Elite a control system designed specifically for flagship-grade machines and 5-axis applications. To achieve this high-level performance, the hardware itself has been significantly upgraded. We recently launched the Q7CNC platform, a top-to-bottom redesign of our flagship's 8065 control. The Q7CNC platform is built with the current and next generation of manufacturing engineers and machinists in mind, all while keeping the same goal we've always had, easy to use, more powerful than ever, and always backwards compatible. Fagor makes collecting data from your machine seamless, such as tool efficiency, load, feed rate, sp and spindle analysis. We intuitively keep all of your proprietary data safe and secure with Fagor security encryption on the Windows 10 operating system. The quad-core processor and 16 gigabytes flash memory ensures lightning fast data processing speeds efficiently storing the data all while running complex toolpaths. Also available up to 128 gigabytes of CFAST solid state memory. Unnecessary or otherwise potentially problematic components such as a fan or a battery have been removed, making the overall control unit up to 60% slimmer and more reliable. This update has been paired with the new Quarkos drive system with improved and agile control algorithms 100 megabytes per second servo bus speeds, all while redesigned to take up less cabinet space. Fagor offers open architecture where external hardware and software can easily be integrated within the control. Our systems can be combined with robotic applications, cameras or 3D scanners, sensors, third-party PLCs, and metal or polymer extruders for 3D additive applications. We hope you were able to learn about some of the functionality that is available in order to make the most out of 5-axis machining. We're about to go live to answer any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Ryan. We will now transition to our Q&A period. Again, if you have questions for the Fagor Automation team, please use the Q&A box on the right side of the screen to submit questions. 
So without further ado, let's start with our first question. Are the FAGOR inspection routines for 5-axis applicable to FANUC machines? Uh, well, the, the FAGOR cycles were written for FAGOR control. So at this moment, there will be no compatibility of macro programming. We can, you know, maybe our OEM can help with some questions related to compensation of the machine. But as far as the, uh, you know, panel controls with FAGOR cycle will probably not work. Sure. Uh, and you know, the math, the math to understand the angles and understand kinematics calibration is probably the same. So experience uh, calibration purpose, per person or, or technician can help to do the right math, but it's not going to be as simple as with FAGOR. So I think the, the question is going towards our cycle are easy to use and very complex function or five axis calibration. We, we, we created easy to use single page approach using our controls. So to transport this, to make it as simple as with FANUC system on the existing machine could be hard. I mean, probably not, not possible at this time. Sure. Uh, and then a different question. Does volumetric compensation protect against thermal expansion? The, the ultimate protection for thermal expansion would be the FAGOR or linear encoders with high precision temperature independent uh, performance. So typically the, those kind of machines, the aerospace machines will have those kind of devices. So the temperature independence comes with the hardware of the machine. As far as the volumetric compensation, in this case, you could run the, the laser uh, process in three different temperatures. We have up to three different tables and we can switch the table based on the temperature at the moment. Um, so as long as the machine can repeat your errors and you can see the results being repeated in different temperature zones, if you don't have a linear encoder, you may have to run three different tables. If you have a linear encoder, single table should be enough. I guess we have some more questions. Um, yes. Um, can you do five axis 3D printing? Well, we, our control to program the motion, whether it's subtractive machining or additive machining, will, will allow you to use our system on the additive, you know, 3D printing machines. The similar concept of kinematics adjustment calibration, high speed algorithm for making the motion very smooth will apply. Uh, Sometimes even some of our customers, they use a hybrid machine. The concept is that they have a machine which has both heads, additive head or additive process and subtractive head for making the secondary operation on the machine. So yeah, the answer is yes. Sure. And are you able to control uh, like a robot, like a Kuka, a Kawasaki, or any other, or does Fagor have its own robot? <laughs> yes, I can try to answer that. Uh, we don't uh, make our own robots because, you know, this is not our expertise. We are more into the CNC uh, and machine tool business, but we uh, easily can cooperate with any different uh, brands like Kuka or uh, Kawasaki. Uh, so uh, we have several uh, examples or uh, already made uh, projects in the field where you cooperate uh, FAGOR CNC or machine based on FAGOR controller and uh, different brands of uh, robots, Fanuc, uh, Yasakawa or, or KUKA. So, so it's doable. We can control this. Sure. And um, the presentation had mentioned that the software was running on Windows 10. Are there any plans for a Windows 11 native version? Uh, we are working on uh, on the implementation on uh, Windows 11. But uh, we should also mention that uh, our new development with uh, HTML makes this process maybe even more independent of the operating system. So once you migrate your application to HTML, 
you you are free to to run on any platform any platform means you can run on the apple you can run on the google uh, or windows based uh, android so 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 makes the kind of uh, machine and the development uh, future future proof so so once you develop something it will be maintained for years to come so this is this is the nice feature of working with this more universal system Sure, and we have another question. Uh, we have another question about um, open architecture. So, what is the interface that uh, you all use for connecting servo drives or PLC other than Fagor? For the servo connection, we use um, EtherCAT or Circus Three, Circus Two using fiber, Circus Three using uh, the same cable as EtherCAT cable. Uh, as far as the remote I/O or connectivity to the ex to the third-party devices sensors, we use EtherCAT. Uh, for linear encoders, we have uh, protocols for absolute positioning called SSI. So our our strength or our idea is to use always well-published, documented protocols you can you can read on and connect third-party devices. So maybe about the PLC, if you have a third party PLC program or you have some kind of sensors for uh, to be connected to the PLC, which every control, every Fagor CNC has PLC, we, we, will, we will recommend EtherCAT. Sure, and I guess one more question. Um, are there any limitations on using multiple algorithms from the Fagor software at the same time? So there's no limitation. Actually, the power of our system is uh, that all those algorithms for accuracy, like volumetric compensation, kinematics calibration with different tables and offsets, they are all always running to keep the keep your parts, you know, very accurate. On top of it, you have all the transformations for inclined plane, RTCP, and virtual axis. If somebody chooses to run at the same time, all of this being applied in real time to your machine uh, so this is this is actually the strength of the process that very complex complicated algorithms can be running at the same time even to the point that you can run the slider and adjust or fine-tune some of them to very very useful during semi-finished process when you're ready to do the finish pass but you still have room you can adjust some fine-tune the final pass before you start cutting the the last motion so uh, gives you a lot of power with uh, being able to mix those algorithms. So basically, these features are stackable. So basically, you can stack one on top of the other, and also you can remove, and you can always adjust. If you like the feature, you may use it, or you may remove it. So so this is the beauty of the system. So you can uh, easily remove every feature which applies to your machine, and and you can apply later or so you can make any combination of these features so and everything should work uh, in perfect conjunction and make the best uh, finishes and optimize the time of cutting or applying the materials on some on the 3d printing machines yeah so if there's any 3d printing application this is also very nice because all those changes you can do in the fly you don't have to stab your head or stab your feeding of the resin or, or metal powder, or we, we have some, uh, you know, like a welding, welding process. You can continue running, but you can maybe slow down because the material is not coming. You can slow down without changing the part program. Uh, you can adjust virtual access to, to control the gap or the, or the cut of the, or the size of the cut, cut, cut at this moment. So those are very nice functions of functionality for setup and running part programs in real time. All right, thank you. And it looks like we got one last question. Uh, so with for OEMs of LSAM or LFAM uh, 3D printing machines, who all is using your automation system? Uh, we, we are working with uh, 
big metal company in uh, United States, big big metal additive. And also we collaborate in Europe with a couple of the universities and research centers. All right, thank you again, everyone, for your questions. Thank you, Ryan, Adam, and uh, yeah, Arthur, and uh, Yarek. Um, once again, this presentation will be available on demand shortly afterwards. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your time today. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you, everybody.